Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from For The Core. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about the four things you should consider before joining the Marine Corps. Now, this video is gonna be for those of you guys who are maybe looking to join, maybe you're sitting on the fence, maybe you're in your early 20s, you got a small family already guys, but it's something you've always wanted to do. And I think it's a great experience. I think it's something you should definitely go for, but there's some things you should consider before joining. I am a Marine Corps veteran, been out of the Marine Corps now six and a half years. And I've learned a lot along the way, guys. And this channel is for you guys. You know, I'm here to hopefully shed some light on the experiences that I had, share my opinions, and give you guys some of my failures and things I've learned along the way so that you can learn from as well. If you do find this video helpful or like it in any way, smash that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And if you got comments, questions, or concerns, drop them down below, guys. This channel, again, is for you. And if you got any questions you want answered, I'm going to do my best to answer them all for you. All right, so let's dive right into it. Number one, are you ready to leave your loved ones and family and friends behind? Most likely you're in your teens, living at home with your parents, staying up till three, four in the morning, playing Xbox, uh, whatever it is, most likely that life you're currently living is pretty cushioned compared to the Marine Corps. But you gotta realize that, you know, when you join, you're not just going away to boot camp for 13 weeks, guys. You're gonna be apart from your family quite often throughout the military. The sad reality is the Marine Corps comes first, guys. Your family comes second and that's just the way it is. So if you're not on board with that, your family's not on board with that, you should probably consider either joining another branch or not joining the military altogether. So I can tell you from experience, homesickness is a real thing. I had never spent more than two weeks away from home when I was growing up. And I was that kid who stayed up till four in the morning playing Xbox, all right? Lived with my mom, pretty chill childhood. I was just waking up at noon every day, but I joined the Marine Corps because it was something that I wanted to do and I knew I was going to be going away for quite a while. So it was difficult at first, but I can tell you, once you get in the new routine of things, once you start making friends, that homesickness subsides, guys. So number two, are you ready to commit? Marine Corps is a big commitment, guys. Most likely you're going in, you're going to be signing a four-year contract. I don't know any other contracts that are going to be shorter or longer than that. If you're going active duty, most likely it's a four-year obligation and the Marine Corps is gonna own you for four years. You know, Uncle Sam, he's your new best friend. So you gotta to adhere to a lot of the rules, regulations, and you signed a contract at the end of the day. So if you go in there and you embrace the suck, give 110% and be willing to just learn, you're gonna do fine, guys. That four years is gonna go by like a breeze. I've been out six and a half years now, as I already said, and I can tell you that it seems like just yesterday I got out of the Marine Corps. Going through it, it seemed like a lifetime, but I can tell you, it's an amazing experience. If you can just wrap your head around the commitment and go in there and just be willing to give your all, you're gonna be fine. All right, number three, are you ready to become a United States Marine? The Marine Corps is not easy. As you all know, it's the longest basic training. You gotta go through 13 week boot camp, and you've seen the videos on YouTube. Boot camp's not easy. You're getting screamed at, the drill instructors are in your face all the time. You're freaking doing push ups, running, everything you're doing. It's with speed, volume, intensity. That's, that's what they demand of you guys as recruits. So if you're going into it and you're expecting it to be all sunshine and rainbows, you're in for a rude awakening, guys. Your drill instructors are not there to be your best friends. They're not gonna freaking pat you on the back. You know, if you go in there and you don't understand that nothing you do is gonna be right, you're gonna have a hell of a time, guys. It's gonna be a long ass 13 weeks and it's gonna be brutal. But for those of you guys who are gonna go in there with an open mind, and be ready to just give your all. It's gonna be extremely rewarding and you're gonna do just fine. It's not impossible. A lot of guys think they gotta be super physically active and in shape to be able to pass boot camp and get through it. But I can tell you, and I think a lot of Marines would agree, that is a mental game, guys. The whole time, it's just mentality. You know, if you're going in there and you're constantly fighting it, it's gonna be rough. But if you go in there and you realize that nothing you do is right, you'll be fine, you know? The drill instructors, like I said, they're not there to freaking pat you on the back. They're not there to be your friends, all right? So I've seen other videos from guys who are in the Army or in the Navy talking about how to please your drill sergeants. There's just none of that shit in the Marine Corps, guys, all right? Your drill instructors are beasts. They're going to be freaking in your face all the time, screaming. They're going to be demanding every ounce of your being, you know what I mean? If you're in there giving a half-ass job, giving 50%, and just kind of slipping through the cracks, they're gonna weed your ass out and they're gonna make your life hell, all right? I can tell you from experience, but if you're willing to go in there, like I said, give 110%, give your all, embrace the suck, 
and just be willing to learn and go in there with an open mind. It's gonna be extremely rewarding and it's an amazing experience, guys. When you finally graduate boot camp and you pass the crucible, you know, and you earn the title United States Marine, you're no longer a nasty recruit or a nasty civilian, you know, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it, guys. I remember like it was yesterday. It's an extremely emotional moment. And when they hand you this Eagle Globe and Anchor, right here, this is the actual Eagle Globe and Anchor I got when I, when I graduated boot camp. All right, my drill instructors put it in my hand, you know, shook my hand, started treating me like a human being. It was an amazing experience, guys. All right, and then when you're walking across that parade deck after you graduate and you see your family out there sitting in the stands, you feel like a freaking superhero, all right? And your family's looking at you like you're a superhero. You're not, but you just passed something that's extremely challenging. You just became the 1%, guys, all right? So I can tell you the Marine Corps is an extremely rewarding experience if you go in there with that open mind and you're willing to embrace the suck. Number four, are you ready to fail? You're gonna fail a lot. I've already said in basic training, nothing you do is gonna be right. You're gonna fail everything. Your drone instructors are not there to freaking pat you on the back. You know, you can pass an obstacle course with flying colors. You can set the pull-up record. At the end of the day, they're gonna find something you did wrong, guys, all right? So go in there with that mindset. Don't go in there looking to get freaking a handshake and a, and a high five at the end of each evolution or, or run or whatever. Go in there, be willing to fail. And that's gonna be your whole time in the Marine Corps, guys. Everything about the Marine Corps is a challenge. No matter what you're doing, you know, you're always gonna be going up against the odds, all right? Whether you're on a PT run, whether you're on a meritorious promotion board, everything you're doing, I mean, your potential to fail is gonna be greater. So you gotta go in there and be ready to embrace that fear. Fear is in our DNA as human beings, guys, all right? It's just your mind playing games with you. If you're uncomfortable to do something, that's all the more reason to go out there and just freaking do it. You know, whether it's giving a speech to your guys, or whether it's getting out in the PT run in the morning and calling cadences in front of your platoon. You know, there's gonna be haters, there's gonna be guys talking shit, but those are the ones who are freaking afraid, all right? They're the ones who are scared to fail and afraid of fear. So if you're gonna be willing to go out there, give 110% and just take fear and tackle it head on, guys, Marine Corps is gonna be extremely rewarding. You're gonna love your time. Shit, you might even stay in for 20, 30 years, guys. All right, those are my four things I think you should consider before joining. Again, there's many more. Those are the four things that I thought were on the top of my list. And if you're nervous, you should be. It's a new experience. You don't know what to expect. Hopefully, I've shed some light. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube, guys, that you can watch and kind of get an experience. But at the end of the day, you're not going to know what to fully expect until you just get out there and do it. All right, so again, this is Tony from For the Core. Semper Fi.